Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is how many different gametic genotypes are possible from the deployed genotypes and determine the probability of each. And here is the genotype of the deployed organism, map distance between genes 30 centimorgans. So genotype which is capital A capital B basically means that we have one chromosome with two genes on it and one gene A, another gene B. And we have also another chromosome with the same genes but different alleles. As you see, alleles are as follows. Small a and small b allele on the second chromosome. So this is going to be one, let's say paternal chromosome and this is maternal chromosome with the same genes of course, but can be different alleles. So these two chromosomes represent deployed organism, but when gametes would be produced, we only will find one chromosome from this pair of chromosomes. And there are different variants possible. For example, if no crossing over is going to happen, then in the gamete we can find, for example, chromosome with dominant allele A and dominant allele B, just exactly what we see here. And also another variant would be small allele A, small allele B or recessive allele A, recessive allele B. And this is exactly what we see here. But imagine that crossing over would happen between gene A and B. In this case, we are going to get recombinant variants, dominant allele A and recessive allele B on the same chromosome. So let's list it down. So this is going to be another variant, dominant A and small B. And as a result of such crossing over, we're also going to get small A allele, recessive allele and dominant allele B on the same chromosome. This is also is going to be recombinant chromosome. So small a and capital B. According to our problem, we know that distance between gene A and B 30 centimorgans. So 30 centimorgans. And that means that in the gametes we will find recombinant product which would account for 30%. So this two variants would make 30%. And another 70% would be non-recombinant. We also say this is going to be parental variants. And the frequency of each variant would be this one 35%. So half of the 70% this variant would also make 35%. This variant would make half of 30 would be 15%. And this variant also would make 15%. So now you see that 30 centimorgans equals to 30% of the recombinant frequency, which we can find in the progeny. And just divide by half, this is going to be one recombinant variant, here is going to be another recombinant variant, and two variants which are not recombinant and which would make 70%. So this is very easy to solve this type of problems when you know that each centimorgan equals to 1% of the recombination frequency in the progeny. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.